The Street Soccer Project has won the first ever Barclays Community Sports Award. The scheme rehabilitates homeless men back into mainstream society. Ian Irving reports. The Street Soccer Project was set up five years ago to help rehabilitate the homeless people of Greater Manchester. The scheme runs five football sessions a week across the area and has helped hundreds of men turn their lives around. Andy Thorpe founded Street Soccer and is honoured to have won this award. I'm delighted to receive it on behalf of, of everyone associated with street soccer. It's, it's most definitely more than, than one person's work. Long gone are the days when it was myself just running around doing everything all at once like a mad panic. We've got a team of highly qualified coaches now and uh, big-hearted volunteers in the localised communities that these lads are based. Chris is one of the success stories of the project. He's gained more focus in his life and has just finished a 13-week work placement with the scheme. Basically, I was just... I lay about so out socialising, drinking every day, homeless, and then I got introduced to street soccer. It's not more of it's not the football; it's other things as well, the support they give, and the advice and the friendship that they're there for. Football is only part of the work that is done to support the men who attend the sessions, but the appeal of the sport has certainly attracted people to find help, <laughs> and Andy has overseen a big change in the men. I think the general feedback would be along the lines of, of raised confidence, raised self-esteem, um, increased belief in themselves, believing they have got a hope, they have got a future. And off the back of that, in terms of putting legs on it, they're now many of them engaged in different uh, employable schemes, training schemes, and really believing that they can head somewhere in life. Andy plans next year to start working with a local prison to help reintroduce inmates to society. He also hopes to turn the scheme into an academy so he can make a difference to even more men. Ian Irving in Manchester. It does sound like things are being made a difference there. Very much so. You know, I think when you, certainly when you're homeless and you get in a spiral of, 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 of debt and, and trouble and doing the wrong things here, it gives them a focus, gives them a reason to get up in the morning, gives them an, an, you know, a feel-good factor after some exercise. And it's a wonderful scheme and uh, you know, it's, it's, I know it's blossomed because I live in the area and uh, it's, it's certainly going to take off and I think that the prison wing, if that becomes of it, you know, like a different addition to it, will really help as well. It's another example, isn't it, of the sort of schemes that do make a difference within the community, thanks to football, because it always gets bad press, but yeah. sometimes we don't hear the good no, stuff, it, do there's we? there's not enough made about it. I mean, there's, there's a lot of good people who work, work a lot harder, even community schemes based on around all of the 92 clubs that really do make a difference around the community, but this is something extra special, and Andy's done brilliant there.